Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Connect. Uh, today I'm, I'm flying solo, so it's just me today. I don't have Nick, but we're really excited because we're doing something that we haven't done yet. It's something we've been wanting to do for a while, and that's pull in other TI experts from other locations. And we're gonna start off with our Oslo office. Uh, there we have a hotbed of connectivity experts, and in particular, we're pulling in Edward Pedersen to talk about a brand new connectivity standard called MyIoT that TI has had a very intimate involvement with in the creation and definition of this particular standard. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pull in Edward. We're really excited to have him on board. Hello, Edward. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Well, to start things off, Edward, do you want to give a quick uh, introduction as to who you are and how long you've been with TI? Yes, absolutely. So uh, I've been with TI for about two and a half years. In the last two years, I've been working as an apps engineer here, in, based here in Oslo. And uh, currently, I'm working in the platform software apps team, where we mostly focus on low-level driver support, but also third-party uh, engagements. And right now, my main project is driving the, uh, the uh, being acting as a project manager for this new and really interesting work going behind my OT. Awesome, very cool. Well, I guess that's what we'll be spending most of our time talking about today. So maybe to level set a little bit, can you give a quick introduction as to what My IoT is? Absolutely. So uh, My IoT is a new and emerging LP van standard coming out very soon, uh, and you kind of kind of have to see what is really an LP van type of technology. So LP van technology, uh, or if you say protocol. Is for uh, stands for low power wide area networks, and it's often uh, seen as big networks uh, in a star type of topology, where you have one base station with a lot of endpoints, and it's often that you have a really long range between the base points and the end devices, uh, and uh, it's usually a very infrequent uh, transmissions from the end devices to the base station, and also the end devices are usually battery powered. So these are kind of the three key features uh, behind an LP van standard. And my IoT is trying to become a, a new true standard in this LP van space of technologies. Very cool. And maybe just to, to summarize there, um, we're, we're talking about long range uh, communication, extremely low power being that most of these will be battery operated, um, and then also a large number of, of sensor nodes. Can you help maybe quantify what, what long range means in this instance? Yes, so uh, long range in these type of contexts is usually kilometers or miles of range. Uh, and uh, my IoT is trying to, uh, to aim for a very long range even in urban-like uh, environments. So in, for instance, in a, a city-like environment, you would kind of expect up to uh, five kilometers of range. Um, in more like rural areas, you would expect up to 15 kilometers of range. Very cool. Yeah, so I can imagine a lot of very unique applications, unique challenges that we're solving with this brand new connectivity standard. Um, and I know, you know, with your role within TI and, and TI's involvement in, in bringing up these brand new solutions, can you talk a little bit more about TI's role in the creation and definition of the MyIoT spec? Yes, Adrian. So uh, uh, TI's role in MyIoT is that TI is a co-founding member of what we call uh, the MyIoT Alliance. And my IoT Alliance uh, core role uh, is to uh, develop uh, my IoT as a technology and drive the involvement of how my IoT uh, tries to become the true standard of LP van technology. Very cool. Yeah, and I know there's a lot of technologies out there. Um, you know, within the Simplink platform, obviously, we support a lot of the more established ones, but it's great to see TI kind of always innovating and finding solutions to address any gaps that some of those existing standards might, might currently have. Um, so really excited to see what developers are able to do with this brand new connectivity standard. And uh, speaking about developers, how, how can they get started with, with my IoT? I'm glad you asked that, Adrian. So uh, uh, with TI uh, joining the my IoT Alliance, of course, TI wants to provide developers the way of developing my IoT products with TI hardware. So right now, uh, TI supports multiple devices, uh, which supports uh, uh, my IoT including the CC1310, the CC1312R, and the CC1352R. Uh, in addition, we also have the brand new uh, evaluation kit called LPSDK, which I'm holding up right here. And uh, this kit allows you to, uh, to develop and test my IoT applications out of the box as well. So it's very exciting for uh, customers trying to, to uh, evaluate and develop my IoT applications with TI. Very cool. And I guess from a frequency band perspective, this is, I guess, a sub-1 gigahertz um, 
standard or protocol primarily? Yes, so uh, my IoT uh, as a technology at its core, it's running on sub one gigahertz. Uh, that's kind of how it achieves the long range. Um, but what's kind of special uh, and differentiating with the my IoT and how it's not just any other standard is that it's doing what we call telegram splitting. So traditionally, uh, LP WAN technologies, they transmit a whole packet over either the same frequency or kind of a sweep of frequencies. Um, but usually these types of transmissions are prone to interference and usually leads to loss of the entire transmission. With telegram splitting, uh, my IoT takes an entire packet and splits up into radio bursts. And each radio burst is then transmitted in different frequencies, kind of like a pseudo-random uh, frequency hopping. And this kind of maximizes the likelihood of a radio burst being successfully transmitted to, the, to either the base station or vice versa. So uh, what happens for interference, either in a wideband uh, interference, where you have uh, interference over many frequencies, or a narrowband uh, interference, where you have interference on a single frequency, then only a small uh, amount of radio bursts will likely be lost. Uh, and with a great forward error correction in the telegram splitting, you can lose almost up to one third of the, the radio bursts and still be able to decode the, the, the complete transmission. So it's very robust and it also, uh, to together with, uh, with long range, it's, it's, it, it supports a lot of dense networks, which is perfect for urban uh, environments. That's incredible. So, so long range, low power, extremely robust. It sounds like it's sort of the, the best of, of all capabilities that a lot of our developers are looking for. Um, and with that in mind, with the LP SDK, it sounds like customers can get started pretty quickly. Um, I know there's a demo out there that allows developers to very easily create a sensor network with the use of a gateway. Can you talk a little bit more about how a CC13XX product can interact with a gateway to create a sensor to cloud type of application? Absolutely. So uh, with the, uh, with the L new LP SDK evaluation uh, kit, we, we now actually have a kind of uh, My IoT kit where you can have an out of box uh, experience uh, upgrading the LP SDK evaluation kit into a My IoT device. And given that you have a My IoT gateway at your hand, you can then just update the My IoT kit. It will, uh, you will be able to connect the My IoT end device to your gateway and you will be immediately be able to see sensor data being transmitted from the device to the gateway. And from there, you are free to do whatever with the sensor data you want, transfer to the cloud or just do, uh, yeah, you know, data, uh, data processing. It's up to the developer, right? Awesome, Edward, thank you so much for hanging out. We're really excited to learn more about these up and coming technologies and it's great to have an expert very intimate in the process of bringing these new technologies to market uh, hanging out with us here today. So thank you so much, Edward. Hey, thanks for having me, Adrian. Um, so with that, uh, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you tune in again next week where you can learn more about the Simplink platform. And uh, be sure to learn more about MyIoT at ti.com slash MyIoT. And if you're interested, feel free to also follow us on Twitter at Sensor to Cloud. There you can give us feedback or ideas for future episodes, or just let us know any, any information you'd like to learn more about the Simplink platform. So with that, we'll talk to you guys next week, and we'll see you later.